Hi there, this is John Drew from Elevated Planet. And Jolay Gabrielle, and we want to thank you so much for joining us for this broadcast. And John is going to tell us a little bit more about what we have in store for you today. We talked a lot in recent times about creating our world of unspeakable beauty. This last week when we had Greg Braden and um, Nazi Harimin. And also Lipton. And Bruce, then Lipton. Bruce Lipton. Yeah, and it talking about like the power of the invisible as much as anything, the power of emotions on our optimal health. And we're going to keep the momentum going on this. This is important. And what what we wanted to go back to here was tapping into the power of group consciousness, because we know, as per the Neil Donald Walsh Conversations with God trilogy, we focused on that piece, which says that group consciousness is powerful and produces outcomes of unspeakable beauty or ugliness. So the fact is we want to be conscious creators and we want to be conscious creators of unspeakable beauty. And we have it within our gift to be able to do this. But we have to understand, we have to have a common vision. But what we wanted to show you on this video today, which is a little clip from the one field, which again, I will put on the weekly. So you will be able to access that video in totality, which is about two hours long. And it is fantastic. You know, we have to believe it. We have to feel it. We have to live it through our five senses. But unspeakable beauty awaits and I, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely up for that I don't know about you Jolie how do you feel about it I mean it's really what I've really been talking about all along you know especially when we looked at the meditation last week we were really trying to fill up that space with good things and so it just goes to show you that if you can do that on a group level you can do it, start here, and then work your way out, right? And so this is just proof of what we've been talking about. But John, you also mentioned about how that focus can be continued by entrainment. Exactly. What does that mean? So meditation, creative visualization is how you start to entrain those positive, you know, attributes or, or vibrations to reverberate within you and out into the world. So it's about really, we talk about waking up in the morning, five minutes, ground your energy, you know, bring in gold light. And then maybe at your lunch hour, do some deep breathing and then maybe before bed. So this is all how entrainment works. It's a consistent effort to send positive energy to begin to heal in the moment. And also it may even look like practicing things that you can say with compassion in those moments that may be challenging. There's nothing wrong with being prepared, <laughs> but back to the group meditation is that I just want us to understand that we are also a group, you know, let's get our group in alignment so that we can send that energy forth. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, Joel, so that's uh, fantastic. And I, I love this idea of entraining, absolutely. And that's what we've been practicing all along. So how about we leap straight into our meditation for today? Fantastic. So I think the one thing that we could utilize as a group is discernment. And so let's get rid of some of the shame that we feel around these hard issues and really bring in discernment um, in this meditation and in the space of ourselves. It's a limitless amount of space, so let's bring in as much positivity as we can. All right. Begin by just breathing with the rhythm of your body. And I want you to just feel yourself, like be present and aware. So wiggle your toes and move your feet around and you know move your knees and your hips and just feel what it feels like to be in your body your hands your neck your head and just occupy all of the space that is you while you breathe with the rhythm of your body put your feet flat on the floor your palms face up command your higher self to sit at a comfortable distance above your head and ground your energy by creating a grounding cord of a natural earth element connected to the first chakra, which is located between your sit bones. Envision this moving through whatever you're sitting in and down through mother earth, 
moving at the speed of love and rooting itself, meaning instantaneously it's into the core of Mother Earth and root it. You want to call in your golden rose-shaped scrubbing bubbles, blanketing the inside and the outside of your grounding cord to clean off anything that no longer serves you, anything you are ready to let go of and release. Let this happen. As you pull your aura in a foot and a half around you, you snap in your astral body. And now we begin to bring our awareness to our heart. And as we breathe in deeply and exhale, I would like you to please visualize, create and imagine your heart and you sitting inside of it and commanding all of the blood that is moving throughout your body to turn heart shaped so that love moves throughout your body and into all of your cells, all of your organs, all of your systems, filling you up with love and healing and health. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And now from this place of your heart, I want you to create a golden sun above your head. So you just command a golden sun to be created above your head. And in this sun, it's going to be a huge high powered magnet with your name on it. It's going to start calling all of your energy back. And when you have all of your energy in that golden sun above your head, you're going to open your crown like you would the lens of a camera and allow for that golden sun to melt down into your crown, filling up your cranium and all the folds in your brain. The synapses are firing, rewiring you positive energy, compassion, forgiveness, letting go of trauma, but most of all, allowing for you to be open to the spirit to talk to you. And for you to hear that clearly in order to allow discernment into all of your cells, true discernment for you. And not only the discernment to know, but to also take the action required to execute and make it happen for you to get on the right path or for us as a society, a culture, a universe to elevate our vibration. So at first it's going to take discernment. So bring that in and allow for that to move down. And as it moves down into your grounding cord, all of those golden rose shaped cleaning utensils begins to fall away. So it's this beautiful visualization of the sun coming in, filling up your head, all parts of it, focusing down the spine, hitting the heart, coming down, moving down that grounding cord, and then cascading down all the way down into Mother Earth. And then that energy begins to propagate in that spine and move out into your body. And what does it do? It moves out any shame, any guilt, any blocks to you speaking your truth. So you see this energy fill up your throat, moving out any fear any shame as that love those heart shaped blood cells and that loves comes into the throat and fills you up giving you the words to speak to where you can say it in a way that doesn't trigger you or the other person a way that is compassionate loving and forgiving a way that makes change and releases struggle but we must know the words to speak we must know ourselves and so therefore this divine discernment put another golden sun above your head and inside of this golden sun put discernment and once again allow for that golden sun to cascade down fill up your crown of course fill up your cranium focus down that spine moving out anything that no longer serves you 
and moving out into yourselves. So I just want you to hold the space and see your grounding cord filled with beautiful heart-shaped energy and cells. Microscopically, every single part of every single cell is heart-shaped, representing the love that God has for you, you have for yourself, others have for you, you have for Mother Earth, Mother Earth has for you, you have for others. And that love just keeps moving. And now you see that this heart starts to turn into an infinity symbol which really speaks to life force energy propagating itself, which then kind of looks like DNA. So we have all of these beautiful symbols working inside of us to create health, well-being, and to allow us to align with our divine discernment in the highest and best way with grace and ease. So visualize, create, and imagine all of your cells moving through your body, heart shape, turning into infinity, turning into these beautiful symbols that represent love and life. You are a being of infinite energy. We are all beings of infinite energy. So now that we have divine discernment within all of ourselves, underscored with love and joy, we're gonna go ahead and open our heart chakra like we would the lens of a camera. And we're gonna visualize, just like you see those emojis when somebody's on live, those hearts. I want you to send hearts out into the universe. I don't care where you're sending them. I just want you to send heart-shaped, loving vibrations to Mother Earth, just to her, out into her atmosphere, out into her, her soil, her sky, her sea, her land. I just want you to fill Mother Earth with love. Everyone who you know, your job, your neighborhood, your city, your town, your state, your country, and the world. And just send all of that love, just a plethora of hearts just flowing out of your chest, flowing throughout your body, out into your aura layer, out into Mother Earth see people meeting their mate, you know, cashing that check at the bank, getting that new car or getting on their knees and praising the creator, telling the soil, planting seeds, trees growing, plants opening, children just laughing, and old folks bouncing babies on their knee, and loving their family around the dinner table and everything that represents love and joy to you. Hold the space for that as you see all of these hearts just rapidly come forth from your chest, just sending out the love of God that moves through you out into the universe. Just send out all of that love as you take a deep breath in and exhale and make sure you're breathing with the rhythm of your body as I gently remind you that you are grounded and rooted into Mother Earth with a grounding cord that is six inches in diameter, clean and clear, filled with gold light, bringing you into the present moment. Your higher self is above you, a comfortable distance from your crown. Your astral body is snapped in, and your aura is a foot and a half around you, 18 inches above and below you, to the right and to the left, and to the front and to the back of you. As you take a deep breath in, connect with that heart chakra and just send that love out into the universe. Take another deep breath in and check in with all those cells in your body that are moving through with love, all the blood cells that are heart shaped. And maybe those white blood cells are the infinity, but make it work for you and fill up that space that we know that is within those cells with love with joy and with discernment letting go of any shame any guilt any fear down that grounding cord let's put another golden sun above our head and fill this up again with more divine discernment and solidify and entrain ourselves 
as to how to discern between what works for us and what doesn't, and then execute in the highest and best way with grace and ease. Bring that sun down and just watch it pop up like pop rocks, filling up every cell in your body, illuminating, lighting you up all the way down to your tippy tippy toes, all in the back of you, all out into your aura layer as you can send, continue to send that love out into the universe. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Take another deep breath in, exhale. Relax. As you bring your awareness to your heart, I want you to send those last few hearts out into the universe and a little bit down the grounding cord saying thank you to Mother Earth as you gently close your heart chakra like you would the lens of a camera and make sure you do the same to your crown as you take a deep breath in and exhale and when you are ready you can open your eyes.